Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'm here to do something slightly different. As we are approaching the end of this year, I really want to do a CC favorites video, but not just any CC favorites. This is going to be my favorite CC from this year, 2016. What I've used the most, uh, what I love the most, because I feel like the more I play the game, uh, the more I change my style in a way as time goes on so I feel like what I do and what I use right now I'm probably not gonna use later on in the future because I'm always gonna find something that I like more uh, so I really want to make a list of the things that I love and that I love this year so that I can share it with you guys and a lot of you have been, re have been requesting me to do a CC list I don't usually do that because it takes me a really long time to gather up all CC I like to give credit to everyone so I'm I, I don't mess around with that, okay? <laughs> if I have to do a CC list, I like to do it right, I like to give credits, and I like to do everything 100%. And sometimes with work, uh, which people don't realize that YouTube isn't a job for me, it's an hobby, I work and I don't have time to... Sometimes I don't have time to really put as much effort as I would like to in types of when it comes to criticism videos. Um, so we're gonna have this little special video. I hope you guys like it. And yeah, let's delve into my favorites of 2016. So I have here my lovely model, and I'm gonna start by going into the skins. Uh, what were my favorites for this year? Let's go to skin details. And over here, this is gonna be all in order in description. Make sure to go check the creators, give them some support and some love. Most of us don't really acknowledge <laughs> these creations, but we love them. And if it wasn't for the creator, we would not have this in our, in our game and we would not have what we have right now. But my favorite skin of all time for this year was actually Female Fuliadu, which was a skin created by Sim Sweetie. Uh, which as a channel on YouTube, I love this skin so much. It makes the skin look so smooth and so pretty. It, it goes really well with Max's match, you see? I feel, but even though I, sometimes I use Alpha, I just love this skin. And I usually overlay it with Wisteria, which is the skin over here, which is so gorgeous. And I can also overlay it with this face mask created by Medico, which is a face mask free, no low lashes. And this is how it looks like. It looks really, really pretty. And these were my absolute favorites for this year. I also really, really liked these body freckles that were created by Prince. Uh, you guys are probably not going to be able to see them very well. But as you can see, you can see some of them in her body. I just love, I just love this. As someone with freckles, I appreciate that I can do this to my sims now. <laughs> it's real. People have freckles. Beauty marks. And the fact that we can do this to an entire body of the same, it's really, really beautiful. I also really, really love these freckles, as you can see over here. Can you stop moving, lady? Lady, put your face over here. <laughs> Let me see your face. But these, this is how the freckles look like. We have different types of tones to set to the freckles. If you want them to look more natural, more discreet, or if you want them all out, you can literally choose that and you can get the results that you want which is super duper cool. And also this eye bag by Tifa, which it doesn't really do much with this overlay, but if I do another overlay, you guys are gonna see the difference and I do like this little eye bag. It has a cool touch. So now moving along to the hair, I'm gonna list some, just ver a very few lists, okay? I don't wanna overdo this, but my few favorites, let me go see. Oh my gosh, I need to make this list short. <laughs> I need to make this list short. Ah, oh, shoes wisely. Shoes very wisely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's very tough. It's a tough world out here <laughs> when you have a lot of things. One thing that I really loved about this year was the hairstyles with the buns. Uh, this one uh, brings me so many good memories, especially if it is in this color. Yes, it does. I really like this hair. It was it is a retexture of the hair that was created by someone else, but um, I really love the retextures that Miss Butterfly does, and you can definitely go check her out. I know I do that a lot. 
but also this hair has to be in one of my favorites for this year i really really like it i don't I, I just do, it's very, very gorgeous. It is pretty simple, but I think that's what I like about it. And we have it in some really cool ombres as well, which is so, so pretty. Look at all of this. It's gorgeous. Also, this hair asked me in one of my favorites. Again, the buns. The buns were very in this year, weren't they? I feel like they were. I've used a lot of buns, I know that for sure. <laughs> Again, more buns. Don't judge me. <laughs> and I think I'm gonna leave a list of this. I don't wanna overdo it. These were the top hairstyles that came to my head and that I really, really like. Yeah. Yeah, even though I have so many more, which I'm like... Oh man, I should, I should choose more, but at the same time I don't wanna overdo it. I'm gonna stick to this, people. Maybe I'll go with no fridge this time, it's gonna be a little bit different. Kind of cool. Do we have the the one with the blue tips? Because that one is gorgeous. Oh, there we go. That's beautiful. Should we go to eyebrows? I don't usually um, take the long choosing eyebrows, but this is my favorite. <laughs> it is by S M Sims, and I just I use this all the time. I love this. I don't know why, but I just really do like this eyebrows i feel like i feel like they look really really good no matter what i'm doing what sim i'm creating i'm i'm always using this i don't know why you just do and then eyebrows that i really like and they are a little bit out of the out of the ordinary but it's these glitter eyebrows that are created by praline sims i find them really pretty and they're kind of festive but they look kind of cool in some styles um, I guess if you are creating a kind of a festive sim, this goes really well. I now use this a lot for the holiday team sims and I, I really like it. Moving along to the hats. I'm gonna go through all categories, people. It's gonna be a long journey. <laughs> but on the hats, um, one thing that I love, which is not really a hat, but it's this jacket. It is my marigold. I absolutely love it. We have... We have it in a ton of different patterns, and it is just so, so pretty. I use this a lot. Like, really, really a lot, and I just adore it. I sometimes feel the need to put a jacket on my sims. Sometimes I feel like an outfit is just too plain, and I need to add in something. And a jacket is always my way to go with things, and I always give my sims jackets when I have the chance to do it. I just feel like it, it is cool. And this jacket looks so comfy. I want it. <laughs> I want one in real life. I also really, really like this hat, which is by Toxic. I use it a lot as well. It is really pretty. When it comes to accessories, I cannot pass these lashes. They were created by Kihiko. I adore them and I always use them. I don't think I ever passed a chance of using my... of giving my sims lashes. They are just so pretty. I usually use the version 2 of them, but I also have the expansion mash, which is kind of kind of kind of cool. If you want a more glamorous look, this is your way to go. It's really, really pretty. There, glamorous. Well, let's start from the top, shall we? <laughs> One earring that I just found out recently, I think it came out recently, it's this, which is kind of like, it's an earring with like an ear cuff over here. I find it really pretty, you can choose it if you want it on the right or on the left, or whatever you want really. If you want on both, you can do both. <laughs> Uh, but it's by, it's by Praline Sims, it's really, really pretty. I really do like it. When it comes to necklaces, I use a lot of chokers, even though I cannot stand having anything near my neck in real life. I guess I can give chokers to my Sims and be happy like that. <laughs> I can't wear them without feeling like being suffocated, but my Sims can wear them proudly and just enjoy it because they don't feel anything, do they? <laughs> But I really, really love this choker by Salem. Two, three, four, two. It's so pretty. And I always use it a lot. I also really like this one, which is like like a little neko. A little neko choker with, with a little bell. <laughs> it's really cute. And it comes in a ton of colors. That's what I love about it. I also really, really love this jacket, uh, which is again by Mary Gold. Love her jackets. <laughs> Use the heck out of them. And I think I'm gonna leave list to this. 
Um, I don't know what I'm gonna give you in terms of accessories. We'll see this later, girl. We'll come back. <laughs> when it comes to eyeshadow, uh, let's go see. I don't have that much, actually. Uh, but I do love this, which is not really an eyeshadow. It has a waterline to your sims and a little eye drop corner. It's really, really pretty. It reminds me so much of Sims 2. And I, I adore it. And I try to use it when I don't really give my Sims eyeshadows. So, yeah. Another one that I really, really like and that I only found out about recently, it's this one, which is kind of like a grunge um, eyeshadow. It is by Praline Sims. It's really, really pretty. It is pretty natural looking. Um, it just gives a little uh, grungy feel to the eyes and I, I really do like it. It's very subtle, but I love that. Because I'm not really the type of person that like, gives my Sims very dramatic makeup. So this is very, very cool for me. Going to the eyeliners. Uh, we have a few. Of course, I love this eyeliner by Pisces. It is my absolute favorite. It has a ton of different uh, shapes of eyeliner, which you can choose from to best suit your eye, your sim's eyes. Um, I feel like these eyeliners can give the eye of your sim a completely different feel in each different one. So you can shape your sim's eyes with this, which is so cool. I recently found out about this one made by Ikari-chan. It is so cute! And so adorable, but I, I do love it. I'm gonna remove the lashes very quick. Let's remove that, honey. Boom. Isn't that cute? Oh, I, I, I find it super adorable. When it comes to blush, I really, really love the blush number 22 by Pauline Sims. I find it really, really good. I use this blush a lot in the beginning of this year. Uh, in the end of this year, I actually started using more this one, which is a glittery blush made by Praline Sims. I feel like all this glittery stuff by Praline Sims came in a full set and I just love it all. <laughs> and I've been using it since it came out. I just really like it. And as you can see, it's pretty freaking cool. When it comes to lipstick, I really love this one, which is created by Prince. I really love the colors. They all look so different, and they all look so good on the sim. It's amazing. One lip gloss that I always use, uh, it's very rare when I don't use it, it's this one. I just love. I have it in the pink and purple tones, I have it in blue tones, I have it for the dark skin sims and light skin sims. I have it all because I literally adore it and I always use it. I just love all of these colors. I feel like they look really, really good. Um, they make your Sims lips look a little bit more rounder, which I do like as well. It may look a little bit unnaturally if you go with lighter tones, but with this more colorful tones, it looks really, really cool, which is what I go for. I like to do cr colorful stuff, and uh, that's what I go for. <laughs> I really like this. Now to the face paint. Um, this is where I keep my contacts for my Sims. And I do have a few favorites, even though I feel like I switch up all the time because I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe we should switch things up, see if I like something else. Uh, but I did love these. They look very natural and really, really pretty. I also really like these, which came with the glittery set by Praline Sims. Love that set. <laughs> I also really like this eye color, White Eye by Matico. Uh, of course, if you use this, you might need to reduce the eye size a little bit because it makes your, your sim's eyes look big. Uh, but yeah, I really like that. And can I go a little bit crazy? I also really like these cat eyes. <laughs> like, I really, really do like it. Look at that. Kind of supernatural-ish, but I, I do love the feel that they give your sim. It's different and it looks cool. By the way, since I'm going back, I also really, really like these lipsticks by All Sprite. They look very, very natural, but really, really pretty. And now let's go back to choosing a pretty color. <laughs> I feel like going with blue, but I feel like blue is... Is it too much? Nah, it, it cannot be too much. It's pretty, look at that. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I, I would never use it in real life, but... Why, why not fulfill my dreams with my sins? 
you look fabulous, girl. Let's move to the clothing. Uh, should we go for the tattoos? I, I guess we could go for the tattoos, even though... Mm, I feel like I don't have th that much cool stuff. I feel like some people have really, really cool CC when it comes to tattoos and all that sort of stuff, but it's not something that I really, really focus on. Uh, but I do love Salem when it comes to tattoos. I, I feel like these are my favorites. Like, <laughs> all things Salem makes, I, I love. I really do love. Like, these are really pretty, and it has a little moon shape to the forehead. It's so pretty, look at that. I also have these by Salem as well. Uh, let me go remove <laughs> this, I don't want to overdo it. I wish I had some more colorful tattoos, but I don't really have that. I like to stick to my black and white. <laughs> yes, I do. Look at that, it has like little stars. So cute. Now moving along to the tops. Uh, let's go see what we can pull through my gigantic list of CC. Okay, I really, really like these crop tops. Um, they are kind of like... They are kind of funny, kind of cartoonish, but I really, really like them. I also really, really like these tops. Um, they have some different messages, but they also come in plain colors, uh, which again, I love to use with jackets, because I feel like this is a little bit too simple for me. I like to go a little bit more extravagant. I also really like this bikini. Uh, love it to death. These shirts, uh, really funny, really cute as well. And then we have this shirt made by Marigold. I really recommend you guys go check out her content. It's really good. And yeah, is there anything else? Ooh, these. These are really cool and the boobs, the boobs are in the way. Okay, okay. There. <laughs> Perfect. But th they are very simple but very, very pretty. Again, I cannot stand having anything near my neck, but uh, my sims can wear it. I also really like this jacket. Uh, it comes in different patterns. It is really, really cute. I found about this recently and it's just so cute. I can't. And we also have these sweaters. Again, I'm in love. Mm, now I feel the need to go back and change. <laughs> Things need to match. <laughs> but it's gonna drive me mad. That can work. Sure. Let's remove tattoos. Beautiful. <laughs> when it comes to pants, uh, let's see, focusing only on CC. I love these jeans, I use them a lot, even though they have a conflict in my game. Um, a glitch happens when I make my sims wear these pants, but I just love them so much, I don't even care about the glitch. I really don't care. <laughs> Look at them, they are just so adorable and they come in so many different styles, it's... It's impossible to resist them. I can't resist them. We also have these little overalls, which again are so adorable. I love giving this to my pregnant Sims. I feel like it looks really cute. We also have this holographic skirt, which... Hello! <laughs> it's life. And I found out recently about these shorts by Serenity. I, I kind of like them. They have a clean cut to them. They look really, really, really cute. Uh, these shorts by Marigold. I adore them. Kitty shorts <laughs> for your sleepwear needs. It's a must have. And I think I'm gonna leave it to this. Now, when it comes to dresses, uh, ooh, this long, beautiful dress. It's very simple, but I do like it. It adds some class, I feel. I feel. Yeah, it's cute. It's really cute. This dress by Marigold, I feel like I use it a lot and it's probably one of my favorites because of the jacket, of course. Jackets, love them. I also have this uh, swimwear, which comes in a ton of different patterns to shoes. Uh, we have it with little straps or without them. So it's really up to your choosing. And I think I'm gonna leave the list to here. Now, when it comes to accessories for the full body, I really loved this little seashell bag. I also fell in love with these jackets. They don't work with 
every single top that you make your students wear, but sometimes they work and sometimes they are really, really cool to use. We also have the shirt tied on the waist. It doesn't work with every top, but when it does, it's a very cool detail to add to your Sims outfits. And I love clutter in general. <laughs> Don't judge me. I like to make my Sims wear a ton of crap. <laughs> when it comes to nails, Praline Sims is on the lead for me. I love these so much. We have so many color choices. And I recently found out about these, which are really, really pretty as well. I wish I could zoom in on that, but I can't. But you guys see the little design, you get the, you get the idea. When it comes to socks, I really love these melting uh, tights. Uh, I feel like they look really, really cute in some outfits. Uh, you just need to really match them and see what works best. I feel like this looks really cute on here, actually. Might leave it. Uh, I also really like these socks. I find them really adorable, especially for sleepwear. And also, these. Uh, with little flowers Of course you you don't need to have the flowers. They, they look pretty cute as you can see and finally the end the shoes <laughs> Honestly, I'm not a shoe girl at all. I usually get all of my shoes from this single career um, I might have a few exceptions, but it's mostly all from Sim Creator. I guess the exception is these shoes I really like them like really really do like them but the rest is all from same creator i i, I just love these shoes okay <laughs> and i'm gonna leave this video here so i hope you guys liked it uh again i'm sorry if it was very very long but i really wanted to show you guys everything <laughs> especially since i get a lot of comments about what cc i use and where to get it and all of that and i since i don't usually do lists of cc i feel like uh, this was kind of nice and that way you can see what i get my cc what are my thieves and you, you can go give them some love <laughs> So I hope you guys have a wonderful passage of year. Happy 2017 to you all. Um, I can't believe it's the end of this year, to be honest. I'm still like in denial. I, I can't believe time just flew by this fast. I have a few videos planned, uh, but not really much for the beginning of this year, to be honest. Still, I'm gonna do my best. And until the next video, bye-bye, guys.